Hello, Winternet, this is you and Spence, and yes, the insight calling, returning to the contest, stay with Lithuania. It's a good afternoon, good morning, good evening, welcome once more to YouTube, and yes, the insights look through all the songs of the Eurovision Song Contest. I mean, there's not much to look at. We have a postcard uh, because this is part of our podcast. We're giving you the edited highlights. The song is Stay. The artist is a Monica singing for Lithuania at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. We keep score, so we're going to review myself, Laura Cress, and Rita El Curry. <laughs> On, on first listen to this, uh, it didn't grab me too much. I think especially at, at the beginning, I, it's it's a very emotional song. It's got that, you know, the, the lyrics uh, talking about this pain, this struggle about whether you want to stay with this person. But I have to say when it moves on to the chorus and it, it's got that hook and I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this again. It's uh, of, uh, I think, Shuto Tuto or something, something like that, something along those lines, which is an old Lithuanian phrase. It, it's used in rituals, apparently, where people would stand under the circle. They'd sing these traditional folk songs. And I think that part, when she is singing, she's she's in a circle, she's with her um, backing singers and they're all singing it together in a circle. And I thought that part was really lovely. It felt like they were each getting strength from each other and I thought it really worked into the story of the song and I, I, I really grew to like it when, when I saw that part. And it, it does remind me again of other songs, um, you know, in this contest and in the previous years that they've clearly caught on to this fact that you know, you don't have to have obviously a song in English anymore. If you if you don't have a song in English, you can get by with a very small catchy hook that everyone's going to remember and sing along. And that part of it in the song is is that, and it it really works. I can remember that. I, 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 past the rest of the song really. It reminds me of when I I saw a Netherlands song, uh, the Deep to. Uh, uh, last year and that bit ooh ah and everyone just knew that bit and could sing it and that really brought everyone together singing it I don't think it's quite as strong as that I will say on on first reflection I, I wasn't too sure if, if it was strong enough and it there is a little bit of a tweeness to it it is quite simple but I think that hook really does elevate it. And I think the end bit when they're singing it in a cappella as well, that's that's quite beautiful. So it, it it grew on me this one, I think. This song didn't have me the first on the first listen, the second listen, the third listen. It sort of like I'm familiar with it now, so I kind of enjoy listening to it a little bit. Just like I would enjoy listening to any song that I've heard on the radio for 300 times and eventually it becomes part of the musical repertoire in your head. It has a better hook than Due Vite, <laughs> let's be honest. And the hook gets a, a little bit stuck in your head. Like you can sing along with Chuto Tuto. It's not that complicated to, 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 to sing this. And I appreciate that they added a little bit of Luthi Lithuanian um, folk into the song and I I know that Monica is a very competent singer and unlike her first um, participation in Eurovision this feels uh, just like we said with Moldova this feels much more uh, genuine to her and the lyrics are they're very accessible if you listen to them. They're like, I'm a broken person. I've been broken for so many years, but now I've met you and please stay because I'm growing and I'm improving and I hope that I will, you know, keep on growing and improving. It's an uplifting message. It's not I'm broken and I'm still broken. And, you know, there's a lot of positivity in that message. The issue is that on first listen, it doesn't it doesn't grab me, and even after so many listens, it still doesn't have such a lasting impact on me. And yeah, you can have storylines where that is part of the storyline, but it needs to be part of the story, not the entire story. And this three minutes, the entire story is just the same thing 
over and over again. So when you have a chorus, which is just my heart is beating, my heart is beating, my heart is beating, finally, my heart is beating, my heart is beating, my heart is beating, I need you healing, wait for me, it ain't easy to love me, it, it, my heart is still beating, my heart is still beating. I have a completely different interpretation to you, Rita, and because of my interpretation, I cannot find a way in to this song. I can't find a hook. I can't find a way to settle with it. It, it is just not fitting at all with me personally. It is difficult, and I, I, I feel like that is what she was trying to bring. Though I, I, I think it is supposed to make you maybe a bit un, uneasy about this struggle that she has, and 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 this this pain, and it's not supposed to be. Well, this is, this is a lovely romance, or this is a wonderful thing. I, I, I do get though that that does then make it hard to really connect with the song and 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 really get into it. So I I do understand that element of it. And for me, I'm flitting between in hit and and maybe because I think it really builds and it, it does. I I do remember this song. It's more memorable for me than than Italy. Sorry, Italy. Um, but I I I think it it has to be a maybe for me because. On first listen, it didn't grab me. So, and I, and that's all you're going to get in Eurovision, unless you're you're big nerds like us. And I think for me, it is a miss. Songs need to make connections. This song, I, I can't. I just can't find a way to connect with it. Uh, you know, that happens sometimes with with art, with any piece of art. So it is a miss from me. It is a miss for me as well. And for the same reason as you, I just don't connect with it. Even though I have a very complete different interpretation of the lyrics, I just don't connect with it. And it's a miss for me. And I feel that we have much, much stronger songs this year. But good job on bringing her own artistry to the stage and on making her own message uh, heard. And that is just as important as well. You have one of the biggest musical stages on the planet. To express yourself honestly is one of the greatest gifts that any artist can have. <laughs> Lithuania's entry to the Eurovision Song Contest. It's got to go through the semi-finals. Uh, 31. <laughs> the songs. I have to rapidly do the maths in my head. I should know that. Bad fan, bad fan. 31 songs through the semi-final, six already qualified, only one winner. Who will it be? Eurovision.tv is the official website. ESCinsight.com is our website with lots of analysis, information, discussion and commentary on the contest. As well as a little tiny quiet home here on YouTube. Stay around, go to another website, take care. Do for now. You've been listening to the highlights of Jukebox Jury as we preview the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. Find out more and listen to our podcast, www.escinsight.com.